Well, welcome back here to the Venetian. We're in Las Vegas. It is Wednesday, day two of our coverage here of AWS reInvent 22. I'm your host, John Walter on theCUBE. And it's a pleasure to welcome in two more guests as part of our AWS Startup Showcase, which is again part of the startup program. Uh, globally at AWS. I've got Anat Verma, who is the Vice President of Engineering at Alation. Anat, good to see you, sir. Good to see you, too. Glad to be with us. And uh, Hasi Boudani, who is the CEO and co-founder of Rafay Systems. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you again. Thanks for having, yeah, a, a, a Cuber, right? You've been on theCUBE. Once or twice. Many occasions, yeah. yeah. Um, but a first timer here, as a That's matter right. of fact. Yeah. Right. Glad to have That's you aboard. All right, tell us about Alation. First, for those at home who might not be familiar with what you're up to these days, just give it a little 30,000 foot level. Sure, sure. So yeah, Alation uh, is a startup and a leader in the enterprise data intelligence space. That really includes a lot of different things, uh, including data search, data discovery, metadata management, data cataloging, uh, data governance, data policy management. A lot of different things that uh, companies want to do with the hordes of data that they have, and, and Alation, our, our product is the answer to, to solve some of those problems. Uh, we've been doing pretty good. Uh, uh, Alation is in, running for about 10 years now. Uh, we are a Series E uh, startup now. Uh, we just raised uh, around a few, a couple of months ago. Uh, we are already a hundred million plus in revenue. Um, so yeah, here, here, we're not shabby. Yeah, that's that's right. That's right. It's 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 a it's a big uh, you know benchmark for companies to Absolutely. software companies to cross that 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 uh, milestone. So yeah. Right. Really so, and what's the relationship? I know Rafe and you were, have worked together. In fact, the two of you, mm -hmm. which I find interesting, just you have a chance, you've been meeting on Zoom for a number of months, as That's many right. of us have, but meeting here for the first time. But talk about that relationship with Rafe. Yeah, so uh, I actually joined Alation in January, uh, and, and this is part of the uh, move of Alation to a more cloud native solution. Uh, so, uh, so we have been running on AWS since last year. Uh, and, and as part of uh, you know, making our solution more cloud native, uh, we have been looking to containerize our, our services uh, and, and run them on Kubernetes. Uh, so, so yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's the reason why I joined Alation in the first place, to kind of make sure that this, this migration or, or move to cloud native actually works out really well for us. Um, this is a big move for the companies. A lot of companies that have done in the past, including you know, uh, Confluent or MongoDB, uh, when they did that, they actually really reap great benefits out of that. Uh, so, so to do that, uh, of course, you know, uh, uh, as as we were looking at Kubernetes as a solution, we, I was personally more looking for a way to speed up things and get things out in production as fast as possible. And that's where I think you know, uh, Janae introduced us. That's right. Yes, you uh, Two of us. Uh, I think we share the same uh, uh, investor uh, actually. Uh, so that, that's how we found each other. Uh, and yeah, it was a pretty simple decision in terms of you know, uh, getting the solution, uh, figuring it out if, if it's useful for us, and then of course, uh, putting it out there. So, um, you, so you've hit the keyword Kubernetes, right? Yeah. And, and, and so if you would, Hasib, jump in here. There are challenges, right? Um, that you're trying to help them solve, and you're working on the Kubernetes platform. So you know, just talk about that and, and how that's influenced the work that the two of you have, are doing together. Absolutely. So the business we're in is to help companies who adopt Kubernetes as an orchestration platform uh, do it easier, faster. It's a simple story, right? Everybody's using Kubernetes, but it turns out that Kubernetes is actually not that easy to, to operationalize. You know, playing in a sandbox is one thing, operationalizing this at a certain level of scale mm -hmm. is, not, is not easy. Now, we have a lot of enterprise customers who are deploying their own applications on Kubernetes, and we, we have many, many of them. But when it comes to a company like Alation, it's a more complicated problem set because they're taking a very complex application, their application, but then they are providing that as a service to their customers. So then we have a, a chain of customers we have to make happy. Yep. Anand's team, the platform organization, mm -hmm. his internal customers who are the developers who are deploying applications, and then they, the company has customers. They also have to make, we have to make sure that they get a good experience as they consume this application that happens to be running on Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. So that presented a really interesting challenge. And how do we make 
you know, this partnership successful. So I, I will say that, you know, like we've we learned a lot from each other, yeah. right? And uh, end of the day, the goal is, you know, my customer, Anand specifically, right, he has to feel that, uh, you know, this investment, because he has to pay us money, we would like to get paid. Sure. Right? <laughs> of it yeah. reduces his internal expense, expenditure, because otherwise he'd have to do it himself. Mm -hmm. And it, most importantly, it's not the money part, it's that he can get to a certain goalpost significantly faster. Mm -hmm. Because the invention time for Kubernetes management, the platform that you have to build to run Kubernetes, is a very complex exercise. It mm -hmm. took us four and a half years to get here. Mm -hmm. You want to do that again as a company? Right. right? Why? Why do you want to do that? We, as Rafi, the, the way I think about what we deliver, yes, we sell a product, but to what end? The product is the, is the what. The why is that every enterprise, every ISV, is building a Kubernetes platform in-house. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't. They shouldn't need to. They should be able to consume that as a service. They consume the Kubernetes engine, the EKS is Amazon's Kubernetes, mm -hmm. they consume that as an engine, but the management layer was a gap in the market. Mm -hmm. yep. How do I operationalize Kubernetes? And what we are doing is we're going to, you know, the Anand's of the world and saying, hey, you, you, your team is technical, you understand the problem set, would you like to build it? Or would you rather consume this as a service so you can go faster? Mm -hmm. And resoundingly the answer is, I don't want to do this anymore. I would right. love to buy. Yeah, well, um, you know, uh, as Azeep is saying, speed is the game. Uh, when, you know, we, we, when we started talking, uh, it only took us like a couple of months to figure out if Rafa is the right solution for us. And so we ended up purchasing Rafa in April. Uh, we launched our product based on Rafa and Kubernetes and uh, EKS uh, in August. August. So that's about four months. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done some things like this before. Uh, it takes a couple of years just to sort of figure out uh, how do you really work with Kubernetes right? in, a, in a production at a large scale. Right now, we're running about a 600 node cluster uh, on, on Rappe, uh, and that's serving our customers. Like, you know, one of the biggest things that's actually happening on December 8th uh, is we're running uh, over what we call a virtual hands-on lab. Uh, a virtual? Hands-on lab okay. uh, for relation. Uh, and, and there are probably going to be about 500 people who's going to be attending it. It's like a webinar style. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we do uh, in, in that uh, hands-on lab is we will spin up an relation instance for each attendee right on the spot, okay? Now, now think about this, uh, enterprise software uh, running and people just sign up for it and it's there for you right on the spot. Uh, and that's the beauty of, of, the, of the software that we have been building, that's the beauty of the work that Rafa has helped us uh, to do uh, over the last few months. I think we need to charge them more money, is what I'm <laughs> getting from this conversation. <laughs> and I, I'm going to go work on that. I'm going to let the two of you work that out later, <laughs> all right? I, I don't want to get in the way of a good deal. Um, but you mentioned that, that you know, so, or, or uh, uh, we heard about it earlier that, that you know, it's you being able to offer to your, ser to your clients, right. right, these services. I assume they have their different levels of tolerance and their different challenges, right? They've got their own complexities and their own organizational barriers. And so, mm -hmm. how are you juggling that end of it? Because you're kind of learning as, a, well not learning, but but you're experiencing some of the thing. Right. Uh, same things. And yet, you've got a, you've got this other client base that, that has mm -hmm. a multitude of experiences that they're going through. Right, so I think you know uh, a lot of our customers. They are large enterprise companies. Uh, they they got a whole bunch of data that they want to uh, work with us. Um, so one of the things that we have learned over the past few years is that we we used to actually ship our software to the customers and then they would manage it uh, for their privacy security reasons. Um, but now uh, we since we're running in the cloud, they're really happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. Because they don't need to juggle with the infrastructure and the software management and upgrades and things like that. We do it for them, right? Mm -hmm. And and that's the speed for them because now now they are only interested in solving the problems with the data that they're working with. They don't need to deal with all these software management issues, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so so that 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 frees our customers up uh, to do the thing that they want to do. Of course, it makes our job harder, and I'm sure in turn it makes his job harder. Um, if you get the short end of the stick for sure. <laughs> right, right. That's why he's going to get more money. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a great conversation. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. So, we'll, we'll talk about that. So how about, let's talk about the cloud then. I mean, how, in, as, in terms of being the platform where all this is happening, uh, and AWS, about your relationship with them, 
uh, as part of the you know the startup program and and what kind of value that brings to you? What does that do for you when you go out and and um, are, are looking for work and and what kind of cachet that brings to you? Are you talking about AWS? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, well, so um, the, the the thing is really like you know of course. Um, AWS a lot of programs in terms of you know um, making sure that as we move our customers into AWS, uh, they they can they can give us some up our I wouldn't call it a discount, but there, there, there's some credits that you can get mm -hmm. uh, to, as you move your workloads on, onto AWS. So that that's a really great program. Our customers love it. Uh, they want us to uh, do more things with AWS. Uh, 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 it, it's a pretty seamless way for us to uh, as, as we were talking about or thinking about moving into the cloud, AWS was our number one choice, and that's the only cloud that we are in today. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go to any other place today. That's it? Yeah. What, how, I mean, how would you characterize it? Yeah. I mean, we've already heard uh, you know, from, from one side of the fence here, but... Uh, yeah, absolutely, so for us, AWS is a, is a, is, is a make or break partner, frankly. Mm. Uh, we, as, as the EKS team knows very well, we support Azure's Kubernetes and Google's Kubernetes and the community Kubernetes as well. But uh, the number of customers uh, uh, on our platform who are AWS native, either 100% or a large major, a large percentage, is you know that's that's the that's the majority of our customer that's, base. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and AWS has made it very easy for us in a variety of ways to make us successful and our customers successful. Um, so Anand mentioned the, the credit program they have, which is very useful, because mm -hmm. we can you know, readily kind of bring a customer to try things out and they have, can do that at no cost, right? So they can spin up infrastructure, play with things, and uh, AWS will cover the cost as one example. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good thing. But I think the, so beyond that, you know, there are multiple programs at AWS, so ISV Accelerate, et cetera, mm -hmm. uh, that you, know, you sort of, you gotta, you, over time, you kind of get, keep getting taller and taller and you keep getting on bigger and bigger rides right, right. at AWS, right? Uh, and as you make progress, what I'm finding is that there's a great ecosystem of support that they provide us. They, mm -hmm. they introduce us to customers, mm -hmm. they, you know, they help us you know, think through architecture issues, we get access to their roadmap, we work very, very closely with the yep. EKS team, for example, right, like the, the GM for Kubernetes at, uh, at uh, AWS, is a gentleman named Barry Cooks, who, you know, who is my sponsor. Right, so mm -hmm. you know, uh, we spend a lot of time together. In fact, right after this, I'm going to be spending time with them mm -hmm. uh, because, look, uh, you know, they take us seriously as a partner. Mm -hmm. They spend time with us because end of the day, they understand that if they make their partners, in this case, Rafa, successful, at the end of the day, helps the customer, yeah. right? Anand's customer, my customer. They're AWS customers also. Mm -hmm. So they benefit because we are collectively helping them solve a problem faster. Mm -hmm. The goal of the cloud is to help people modernize, right, reduce operational costs because data centers are expensive. Mm -hmm. right. But then if these complex solutions, this is an enterprise product, Kubernetes at the enterprise level is a complex problem. Mm -hmm. If we don't collectively work together to save the customer you know, uh, effort, essentially, right, reduce their TCO for whatever it is they're doing, mm -hmm. right, then the cost of the cloud is too high. And AWS clearly understands and appreciates that, and that's why they are going out of their way, frankly, to make us successful and make other companies successful mm -hmm. in the startup program. Well, I, I would just add you know, a couple of things there. Um, yeah, so, so you know, cloud is not new, it's been there for a while. Uh, you know, people used to build things uh, on their own. Um, and and so, so what AWS has really done is, is they have uh, advanced the technology enough where everything is, is, is Really simple as you know, just turning on a switch and using it, right? Um, so we, we, you know, just a recent example. Um, and I, by the way, I love managed services, right? So uh, the reason is really because I don't need to put my own people to build and manage those things, right? So if, um, if you want to use uh, search, they got the open search. Uh, if you want to use uh, caching, they 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 got Elastic Cache and stuff like that. Uh, so it's it's really simple and easy to just pick and choose which services you want to use, mm -hmm. uh, and they are ready to be consumed right away. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the beauty of it, and, and that, that's how we can move really fast and, 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 and get things done. Well, ease of use, right, efficiency, saving money, it's a yeah. winning combination. Yeah. Uh, thanks for sharing the story. Yeah, appreciate it. Not a seat. Thank, thank you for being with us. Yeah, thank you so much we for having us. We appreciate it. You bet. Thank Part you so of much. the uh, Global Startup Program at AWS and Startup Showcase. Uh, proud to feature this great collaboration. I'm John Walls. You're watching theCUBE, which is, of course, the leader in high tech coverage. <laughs>